Hi, Mark Reedy here. In this video, I'm going to show you spreadsheet number 100, Tatum's report, work order, actual parts costs, and labor hours uh, grouped by month and year. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. And I've already downloaded it to my desktop. So I'm going to open that up. And when you open it, you may have a couple of uh, warnings up here, little enable buttons. You need to click those to go ahead and enable the spreadsheet. And so the first thing I want to do is go to data and then we're going to go to queries and connections. Now this is a newer uh, Office 365. So in your version, it might be a little bit different. And to see how to link these up in older versions, check out the video on the spreadsheets page, tatums.com slash spreadsheets. So I'm going to uh, right click on this and choose properties. Then we'll go to definition. And so what I want to do is I want to get the path to my database file where Tatums is currently linked to. All right, I'm going to put that in this where this says data source equals. Let me go over here to Tatums and we're going to go to tools and networking. And the path is already highlighted. You can see it's a little different. It's got this x86. So I'll highlight that again. Right click, choose copy. I'm going to close that. And we're going to go back over to the spreadsheet. I'm going to paste this in. So after the equal sign and before the semicolon here, I'm going to right click and choose paste. And then I'm going to click OK. All right. So now uh, we can see here we've got the, uh, the, the year. And you can see these years are inaccurate in the database, 1500. Uh, the year that the parts and labor were installed. And so then we can have month and year order here. So it's going to tell us the month and the year. And then over here, we can look at the total labor hours for that month and year and the total parts cost for that month and year. So let's go ahead and narrow this down. This is a little bit older database. So I'm just going to choose 2013 here and click OK. And now we're just looking at everything for 2013. Now, if we want to sort this, this month and year numerically, right now it's using like a text type sort. So let's see if we can do that. I'm going to go to where it says sort by color. I'm going to click on custom sort. Let's just do a custom list. And we're just going to choose January, February, just the months. And then I'm going to click OK. need to choose the column we're using. So I'm going to use this month and year. Click OK. And now it says sort anything that looks like a number as a number. So that's why I want to choose there. Click OK. And now we can see that this is sorted by the uh, months 1 through 12. OK. So now we can um, take a look at, you know, how much we've, how many hours of labor were completed during that month in 2013 and all the parts costs uh, during that uh, month in 2013. To find out where this data is coming from, we go over here to the work order. And if I open this up, it's going to be the units column over here. And it's going to be the total cost on the parts over here, not not the, uh, and if I double click to open this, um, it's actually not the, it's, it's the total cost. So which is, which, which shows in the work order itself, which is the marked up cost if you're doing a markup. So it's the kind of the out the door cost. All right. So if you actually pay less for the part, it's not going to show you that. So it's this total cost here uh, in the work order as it's generated. All right. And so it doesn't show you this uh, spreadsheet does not show you each piece of equipment. We have another spreadsheet that will show you that. This is just to give you an overall view of your fleet and how much you've spent. Um, and if you wanted to do something like, um, say we wanted to look at, um, Going to select all years here, all right? And say we wanted to just see um, everything in October. 
for all the years that are in this database. All right, so I'm going to click OK there. And so now you can kind of see how your Octobers have gone over the past number of years, however long you've been running Tatums. All right, hopefully that's helpful for you. And thanks a lot for watching. Have a good one. Take care.